Hey everybody, it's Makeup Meanerie. Welcome back to my channel. You can see uh, my hair is a mess. It's time to wash it. I wanted to share with you guys a technique that has been working amazing on my hair. I have been using a brush to sort of encourage my curls a little more. And you can see, even though my hair is a mess and it's been probably a week since I washed it, these ringlets that this um, particular styling is giving and it is making my curls look amazing and lasting so I thought I would share that with you guys today so if you guys want to see that process then make sure to stay watching okay everybody so I'm not gonna go in one of those videos and wash my hair in the, sh in the shower I've tried that before it was a disaster we're not doing that so I'm gonna go wash my hair and come back, but I will show you the products that I'm using and how I apply them to my hair. I'm still using the Too Chic Ultra Moist Shampoo and Conditioner. I have these linked in all of my hair product videos there on my Amazon store, so I will make sure to link all that in the description below, but these are amazing for curly hair, straight hair, hair that is dry naturally. I recommend trying the shampoo and conditioner, life-changing. So anyway, I'm gonna go wash my hair and I will be right back. Everybody, I am back and my hair is washed. For everybody who has curly hair, dry hair, frizzy hair, hair in general, we're not supposed to be using towels, right? When we dry our hair, we use a cotton t-shirt with frizz and yeah, and friction. When you're rubbing your head with a towel, just think how frizzy, oh God, me with curly hair, that is a nightmare. This is my hair fresh out of shower and wet, so you can see how lax my curl gets when it's wet and how bald-headed I really am. So the products that I've been using are a mixture of two products that I leave in my hair with a oil and then two different gels. I know it seems like a lot. We gotta do what we can to make this hair work. Two products that I've been leaving in my hair are the Aunt Jackie's Curls and Coils, and then this smells so good, but it works so great, is the Mayel Leave-In Conditioner, and this is the pomegranate one. Pomegranate and honey, love this stuff. What I do first is just go in with the um, Aunt Jackie's. I'm just a little bit of this in my hand. Not a lot, probably about a quarter size, and this is what I'm gonna do is concentrate this in the root of my hair. Step at the top, I think this helps with you know, my frizzy roots. And I'm just gonna work that in through the top portion of my hair. And my hair is still pretty wet, guys. It's not super dry. I want it to be more wet than not because I want to encourage my curls. So it needs to be a little more wet for that. Okay, so once I got that sort of mostly in the top of my hair on my roots, next I'm gonna go in with that Myel. I'm gonna take a couple Small pumps first, about maybe a little more than a dime, maybe a nickel size. And I'm gonna start rubbing that mid shaft, mostly towards the ends of my hair. I'm gonna put the same amount and do the next section sort of in the back. I'm gonna move on to the next side, same thing. A little more for the back and bottom section. I hope you guys can see what I'm doing. And then just the same amount again in the back. In that section, I'm gonna take my paddle brush again, and this is what I've been doing differently, is just sort of brushing all that product through my hair. I feel like it just distributes it better that way, and everything gets coated and covered. Okay, so this is what she is looking like so far. Now that I've sort of been doing this sort of side Part. It gives my hair more body. I'll insert a picture so you guys can see sort of what it looks like. I'm going to go ahead and just pull some hair forward. Not too much, because I just sort of want it to be my bang area that's pulled forward. And we're gonna brush through that. So this is what, <laughs> what my hair is looking like so far, so in. God, let me see, I can't see y'all. Now we're gonna go in with the gel I use. I have always loved the Echo Styler, but I feel like it's a very heavy on my hair. Just sort of needing to see if I could try something else. And I've been using the Extreme Gel as well. So what I've been doing is sort of mixing these both equally. And it seems to be working pretty well on my hair. I'm trying not to use too much. 
and I usually will use this mostly on the ends of my hair. That way it doesn't weigh my hair down and I still have some body at the roots. Amounts, rub that together on my hands. I'm gonna run it halfway down my hair shaft and focus this mostly on the ends by scrunching it up and in. I'm not to put it completely on the top of my root because I know that holds my hair down and it doesn't give me a lot of body and volume that way and I'm bald headed. I'm trying to fake all the hair I can. I'm trying to make it look as full as possible. <laughs> Doing that same process, same as what I did with the uh, product. Just putting a little bit in my hands and running it all the way through all my hair. Okay, once I got all that, again, I'm gonna run this big paddle brush through my hair just to help distribute all that equally. You can see how straight my hair pulls when I brush everything through. But we're gonna go back through and encourage those curls to come back out. So by encouraging them to come back out, I'm just gonna start scrunching them back up. Now that I look like something from The Grudge, Usually what I would do is just sort of let this air dry or dry my bangs so that they're not all the way in my face. But I have been doing something different with my hair and helping to encourage my curls. And it is making my curls look so much better, so much bouncier. And I know this is not new for a lot of people, but it is new, new to me. So. What I've been doing is just grabbing like a small bristle brush. I've had this one for years. I don't even know what brand it is. Um, oh, it's Goody. So I've been using this Goody brush. And what I'm gonna do is start taking sections of curls. And this is where you need to know how your hair curls or which direction your hair curls. My curl pattern is all over the place. Some curl forward, some curl back. But what I'm gonna do is take like a section this big brush through and as it starts curling on the brush I'm gonna start winding it up and twisting it I'm gonna take it down you be careful though because you can get your hair caught up and you see how that just sort of helped twist that curl so I'm gonna do another one up here where you can see I'm gonna go ahead the curl is curling the same direction that that first one just did so I'm gonna curl like I'm using a curling iron. I'm gonna roll it up and then I'm gonna start twisting that brush down and out of the hair. And then I'm gonna encourage it. So you can see those two in the front that I just did compared to how this curl is sort of not all the way curled. So I'm gonna do that again. Try not to do too big a sections. Um, I don't have really thick hair, so I feel like if you had a lot of hair, this might take a long time. But my hair is not super thick, so this really doesn't take me but maybe 10 minutes to do my entire head. Just broke it up into two. Curl it down. Okay, that looks better. I'm gonna go ahead and encourage this one as well. Okay, so you guys can see the difference. This is one that has not been done in the front. You can see how it's not as kink, as curly as that one is. So let me go ahead and do her. Like I said, be careful because I have gotten my brush stuck in my hair. I had to help my daughter help me get it out. But now that I'm better at it, so you can see how much better that curl looks. Compared to this side, you can see how these are sort of not as uniform and as curly as this is. So what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and continue doing the same thing all around my head. Let me do this one in the front so you guys can see. Now this gets to the point where my hair, I have to watch where the ends curl because my hair curls in all different directions. This one tends to curl in the same direction as the other side, so I'm gonna go ahead and just Pull it down, encourage it to curl up a little bit. They do this up here, same thing. And just pull it down. OK, 
Okay, so you can see how that looks. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue the rest of my head, guys, and then I'll be back when I am done. I know you guys don't wanna see me do the entire head. And I'll show you what it's looking like once I finish these little coils all over the head. So I'll be right back. Guys, so I went ahead and did most of my hair. Um, some of my hair will coil on its own like that, but for the most part, I just went through, and as you can see, I'm doing the back piece here. Same thing, just bring it through the brush, twisting that brush out. And you see how that encourages my curl and just let it drop. So that is it. Like I said, it takes about maybe 10 minutes to do all my hair because I am bald headed, don't have a lot of hair. But this is what it looks like soaking wet. It takes anywhere between three and five hours to dry completely by itself. We'll see you guys when it is dry. Two thousand years later. Okay, guys, so it has been several hours, like 200 years later. My hair looks wet. It is mostly dry. There are some areas that are still a little damp, but for video purposes, let's get this show on the road. I'm tired. I want to lay down. Okay, so the next step that I would be doing is using my Ion Silk Drops. This is a really good lightweight oil that you um, can use for frizz. You use it for a heat protectant. You can use it for a lot of things. I love this stuff. So I am just putting a about a dime size amount in. I'm gonna rub that all on my hands and my fingertips and everywhere because I'm gonna start separating these curls and I don't want them to be frizzy. So I'm gonna go ahead and just start separating them just like this, just making sure not to try to disrupt them too much. And you can see how crusty my hair is. Um, it won't be crusty when we're done with this process because I'm also gonna start sort of crunching it and um, softening up the gel that's in my hair. So you can see I'm just going through and just separating all these big bunches of curls okay so once I got them all separated out what I'm going to start doing now is sort of rubbing my fingers up into my scalp and crunching to soften all this crustiness. <laughs> so I just go ahead and crunch it all up and soften it. See, it's nice and soft to the touch. And you can see that those ringlets are still there in place. So what I'm gonna do now is just take a big pick and I'm gonna start picking at my roots. It still is not you know, big and fluffy like I like. But this is why I do my hair at night because now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and throw on my silky scarf and wear it overnight. And then in the morning, you'll see the difference in my curls. They really will curl up and completely dry and set. Okay, so I have my head scarf on. So this is what my hair looks like with it on. I'm gonna take the pick one last time and sort of just pick at my roots just to sort of encourage some body. Pull it up. Okay, so this is what my hair looks like for the first night that I wash it. So like I said, I am going to go ahead and go to bed. So I will catch you guys in the morning and let you know how my hair looks when it's completely dry. So I will see you guys in a little bit. Okay, everybody. So it is the next day. So you can see how well those ringlets formed when I do this technique. I will insert some pictures of my hair um, without doing this. Like I said, some of my hair will do ringlets, but not this many. So I definitely am loving 
this technique on my hair. And these curls will hold for the next time when I wash my hair, as you guys seen in the beginning, I had a lot of ringlets still left over. It definitely likes the encouragement of the brush and the twisting. And that is it. If you guys like this video, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. I will see you guys next time. Easy as one, two, three.